Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. Okay, so today we are, what we are going to learn is we are going to send push notifications using the Firebase. Okay, those who haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel and hit hit like to this video. Okay, so let's get started. What the videos in the push notification? What we are going to do? So let me show you the demo. <coughs> so here we are in the compose notifications. So here I am going to put my title here. Hello world. I'm oh, sorry. Hello world. Okay. This is test message. This is test message. Okay. And uh, here the notification name. Order please. Okay, order placed. Sorry, placed. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> you can add, you need to add here that uh, like you can see that here you need to add the token. So this token will get it from your console dot log. I have already printed it. This is the FCM token when you have restarted your app. So it will find over here, and I have added that token here. Right, <clears throat> clicking on it, send the notification. Let me open the app also. Uh, test okay and here you can see that you can see that there is a notification and it says that hello world this is the test message from the toast now <coughs> okay you can see that the message is sending out <coughs> so how we are going to send mess uh, notification push notifications in react native let's get started so I'm going to do in a fresh project and create a new one project and let's see how we are going to do that okay so let's start get let's create a new project and see the whole functionality step by step so first of all we are going to create a new app copy this and let's open the new app here so I'm going to open in a terminal so let's paste it push notifications you can make push notifications okay enter this it will create the your react app meanwhile we can delete our previous one here Let's go to this React Native CD. CD React Net React Push Push. Sorry. Okay, so we have added this one. So let's install the Firebase. So let's go for the Firebase documentation. So we, here we have in messages. So this is in app messages, right? And uh, where we are the push notifications, cloud messaging usage. So we have to add this one, Firebase, and this we were going to add it. So let's add in PMI, in PMI Firebase app, remove add, Firebase app, messaging it don't require but in the future we are requiring it so let's add this messaging also <clears throat> next we are going to add another package in PMI react native messaging So this module is installed <coughs> moving to the next process okay so this this is request permissions for messaging that we are going to add okay 
and receiving messages we need to add this one notification data and some this one background notification <coughs> use effect <coughs> new SCM arrived so all these things I have already added in our code so I will let you know how to uh, write such kind of things in the in our code okay so let's move to the next step and create this uh, create the new one let the uh, firebase account let's go for the firebase so i'm going to create a new firebase account add the project here we go with the push okay and continue what it says add project you, you uh, hold on you are three projects away from the project limit considering adding firebase to an existing project or request an increase okay we have you are three projects okay no issues we can create multiple select account <coughs> create project so it is creating the project continue go to your Android you hit package name so let's go to the find the package name where we are in push Android app source main Android manifest open it com dot push this is your package name okay copy this enter this okay <coughs> my <coughs> push notifications <coughs> push notifications as SSH key so let's add the SSH key also let's copy this one Android key list and it will give you the SSH SSH1 so this is my SSH1 key copy this and we are going to paste this register the app okay <clears throat> download this file open this file control X go to the this one file go to your Android app paste it rename it because it's 29 basically so I'm going to add, remove this file go this one renaming done next we have to do this one process class path in project build.gradle so we are going with the project android build.gradle here <coughs> so we need to add here this one last path we have added what next we are this is now we are project level implementation this is firebase analytics you need to add this one go to the app build.gradle you need to add this here google services after this we have uh, this one firebase analytics we don't want so we, we are not going to add the analytics right now so let's go to dependencies add this okay <coughs> save this done save next console okay so this part is done let's make a build android studio It is, is it opening <coughs> open let's and where is our listen push notifications Android this window and it's running the gradle
this is done let's install the build <coughs> okay so we have to run the another one command for reset react native start for bundle where we are going with this one is this <coughs> let's see it is installed or not so it's saying this one now I'm going to add their uh, IP settings okay <coughs> let's reload it the act app is completed now add our app.js file to it we have already created so I'm going to add this one this has the all the things is copy this one and paste this one in the app.js push app.js control a control v save now this is done <coughs> app messaging is coming now we are going to kill this app <coughs> and check the push notifications let's go to the our uh, where we are cloud messaging engagement messaging get your free first account firebase notifications create anyone <coughs> hi this is Rajnikan welcome to my channel channel okay let's open this one we have to add send text message then we have to add the fcm token so i think console they have already printed let's copy this and paste this add and test send now you can see that we have a notification this is rajnikanth welcome to my channel okay so this notifications arrived on the kill state okay so this is how we can uh, send the push notifications in the uh, react native so let's understand their functions okay so let's go to the first of all the firebase documentation here we have okay so let's read step by step the things <coughs> so here we have a request user permissions I have already added this request user permissions okay in this method we are going to just auth status okay the current application before messages can be received or sent in the use use effect we are using if it is user request permissions then we are FCM token we are printing that means token is okay, we are getting then we are sending the remote messages okay and you can see that remote remote messages we are log logging messages handled in the background okay so we can see that messages handled in the background <coughs> and uh, see messages handle is this event send set the message handler because which is called the app in the background or terminated so this is called when we are we are in the background now this is called and uh, when fcm payload is received then it will set that console.log new fcm message arrived it will not going to send the notification it will send this pop-up uh, i will ex uh, explain you right now so let me open my app <coughs> i am just opening my app okay i have opened the app and send the notification same one where it is push i'm going to send the same message test here you can see that new fcm message arrived okay because if, uh, my app is in open state okay <clears throat> so in my open state i have i have just alert alert one and console that message you can do the rest of the process like showing the pop up notification at that mean time also okay so this is how we can uh, go for the push notifications in the firebase and there is a method for receiving the messages okay and <clears throat> they have subscribe on message async receive remote messages alert new fcm ar ar arrived right so this is i have already used 
<coughs> this their functions set background message handler everything from this code to implement the push notifications and react native okay so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section all my videos are in the latest version of react and latest version of react native right so yeah you can, if any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share or comment on my video have a nice day